I know, I know Senator Obama quite well. I got to know him when I chaired the de last Democratic National Convention, where he gave that wonderful keynote address. And then last year, as we campaigned against each other for the presidency, I came to fully appreciate his steadfast patriotism and remarkable talents. And I also realized that here was a really good guy. And I'll tell you, and I tell you why, and I'll tell you why, I'll tell you why. You all watch those long, tedious Democratic debates, right? I could barely get recognized at any of them. But one time when I was recognized and I was sitting next to Senator Obama, I said, finally, I've been recognized. So I turned to him and we started chatting a little bit. And then all of a sudden, the moderator, instead of going after other candidates that hadn't been recognized, came back to me and asked me to answer the question. Well, needless to say, I wasn't listening. <laughs> and I turned to Senator Obama in horror, about to say, could you repeat the question? And Senator Obama whispered, he said, Katrina, Katrina. <laughs> and so I then gave my answer on Katrina. <laughs> he could have thrown me under the bus, but he stood behind me. Don't tell anyone about that incident. <laughs> you know, I also felt a kinship with him because we both had one foreign-born parent, and we both lived abroad as children. In part because of these experiences, Barack and I share a deep sense of our nation's responsibilities in the world. Barack Obama, you're a leader who has shown courage, judgment, and wisdom throughout the years. You understand? the security challenges of the 21st century, and you will be an outstanding Commander-in-Chief. Above all, above all, you will be a President who brings this nation together and restores American global leadership. Your candidacy, and this is an expression of your candidacy, is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for our nation, and you are a once-in-a-lifetime leader. You, you, will make, you will make every American proud to be an American, and I am very, and I am very proud today to endorse your candidacy for president. Obama if I was going too long, and he said, no, go a little longer. <laughs> so before concluding my remarks, I do want to say that we're blessed to have two great American leaders and Democrats running for president. Now, my great, my great affection and admiration for Senator Clinton and President Clinton will never waver. It is time, however, for Democrats to stop fighting amongst ourselves and prepare and prepare for
for the tough fight we will have against John McCain in the fall. The 1990s were a decade of prosperity and peace because of the competent and enlightened leadership of the Clinton administration. And I was in that administration. But it is now time, but it is now time for a new generation of leadership to lead America forward. Barack Obama will be a great and historic president who can bring us the change we so desperately need by bringing us together as a nation here at home and with our allies abroad. And I know that all Democrats and all Americans are going to work tirelessly to get this man elected. So, it is my distinct honor and privilege to introduce mi buen amigo, the next President of the United States, Barack Obama. Bill Richardson.